Okay, now we're looking at P137. Go Math homework for lesson 8.4. Um, I'm going to skip some of these first ones because usually they give you the easier ones at the beginning and then they give you some more challenging ones at the end. So I'm going to skip to uh, number 9 here. I'm going to let you do the top ones uh, on your own. But again, if you listen carefully on the video, ask questions, uh, pause the video and ask questions during the lesson, you should be fine on these ones. You're doing the same thing. But let me go over some more examples, and these are some more challenging examples. So again, uh, I want to get this M by itself. So to get it by itself, I have to do the inverse operation or the opposite of minus two-thirds, which would be plus two, -thir two and three-fourths, excuse me, two and three-fourths. That'll get rid of that, leaving me with just M on this side of the equal sign. But whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So I have to add two and three-fourths to the right side. So let's go ahead and do that math over here. I'm going to show my work over here. Okay, I have um, different denominators, so I want to change one half to a, an equivalent fraction with a denominator of four. So I have to times that by two to get four. So I times the top by two as well to give me two. So this is going to be six and two fourths. Okay, so now I have all fourths. Two plus three is five. 6 plus 2 is 8, okay. and then I have an improper fraction over here, so I want to change that. I divide the denominator 4 into the numerator 5. 4 goes into 5 one whole time. 1 times 4 is 4. Subtract gives me 1. I can add a decimal, bring it down, bring my decimal straight. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. We're doing we're dealing with fractions. I could change it to a decimal if I want, but we don't need to. Any remainder, since we're dealing with fractions, I'm going to have the same denominator, and then I bring my remainder as my new numerator. So I have this 8, and then 5 fourths equals 1 and 1 fourth. So now I add that 8 plus 1 is 9, and then I still have my 1 fourth. All right, let's jump over and do 10. Okay, again, I want to get this letter by itself. I want to get the T by itself. So to do that, I have to do the inverse operation, the opposite of addition, which is subtraction. I subtract the same number. That cancels that number out, leaving me with just the T. But whatever I do to one side of the equal sign, I have to do the same thing to the other. So I have to subtract 0 0.95 from the right side as well. Okay, so let's do that work over here. This is like my scratch paper. 1.25 minus 0 0.95. 5 minus 5 is 0. Here I have to borrow. Bring my decimal straight down. So t equals 0 0.30. Put my 0 in front there. Okay. All right, let's do one more. I'm going to do number 11 now. Again, this time the variable is on the right side, but that doesn't change what I want to do. I want to get this B by itself. So I have to do the inverse operation to get rid of this negative or minus two-thirds. So the opposite of subtraction is addition. I want to add two-thirds. That's going to leave me with just B on this side of the equal sign. Whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So I got to add two thirds over here. I'm going to show my work on my scratch paper over here. So three and one third plus two thirds. One third plus two thirds is three thirds. And then three plus nothing is just three. And three thirds is equal to one whole. So this is three plus another one, giving you four. So B equals 4 or 4 equals B, and then I can check, right? So to check, I would say 3 and 1 third equals 4. Now I plug in the 4 for B minus 2 thirds, 
that in fact is true so this checks out okay that's how we check our problem check by plugging in okay let's go to the word problems the recipe calls for five and a half cups of flour Lorenzo only has three and three-fourths cups of flour. Write and solve an equation to find the additional amount of flour Lorenzo needs to make the recipe. So the recipe calls for five and a half cups. Uh, Lorenzo only has three and three-fourths cups. So we need to know the additional amount. We can use any variable we want. Let's use n for just number this time. And now we got to do inverse operations. So 3 and 3 fourths, if there's no sign in front of it, it's an implied addition. Okay, It's a positive 3 and 3 fourths. So we have to subtract 3 and 3 fourths from this side, and then subtract 3 and 3 fourths from this side. That'll leave us with just n, and then once you do this math, this will be what n equals. Okay, I'll let you do that subtraction on your own. Okay, number 14. Jan used 22.5 gallons of water in the shower. This amount is 7.5 gallons less than the amount she used for washing clothes. Write and solve an equation to find the amount of water Jan used to wash clothes. Okay. So how, we don't know how much she used to wash clothes. I'll put a W for wash clothes. Okay. <clears throat> Whatever she used to wash clothes, though, she, if we take 7.5 away from that, that tells us how much she used in the shower, which was 22.5. So there's my equation. I'm going to let you now do the inverse operation to get this W by itself. Cancels that out, plus 7.5 over here, and that will tell you what W equals. This will be what W equals. All right, again, if you have additional questions, please don't hesitate. Raise your hand, and we'll get it worked out.